Okay, so we're taking a look here at Database Administrator Common Tools, the first being Azure Data Studio. So this allows you to connect to Azure SQL, uh, Data Warehouses, Post Postgres SQL, SQL Servers, Big Data Cluster on-premise. I say Azure SQL Data Warehouse, it must be Azure Synapsis uh, Analytics. I probably just uh, wrote that incorrectly there. But various libraries and extensions along with automation tools, a graphical interface for managing on-premise and cloud-based data services, runs on Windows, Macs, and Linux, uh, possible replacement for SS. SMS, but still lacks some of those features. If you launch the service, it looks a lot like Visual Studio Code because it probably is, but it's specifically for data related tasks. So if you're used to Visual Studio Code, you're going to be at home with the service. You have SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, and it's an automation tooling for running SQL commands or common database operations. It has a graphical interface for managing on premise and cloud based data services, but it only runs on Windows. So if you're on Mac or Linux, you're going to be using Azure Data. Studio. Um, and if you're on Windows, you might just have both of these installed because there's just some things you can do in SSMS that are just a lot easier than Azure Data Studio. But it's more mature than Azure Data Studio. So, um, you know, it's just going to be the features are going to be a lot more richer in, partic in particular for SQL. You have Azure Portal and CLI. So here you can manage SQL database configuration. So you can create, delete, resize the number of cores. Uh, you can manage and provision other data, Azure data services, automate the creating, updating, or modifying resources via the Azure Resource Manager templates, which is infrastructure as code. So those are the three um, major ones that a database administrator is going to be working with.